I'm so excited to join the Craft Ease family. <laughs> I can think back all the way to my childhood and even as young as like four years old, I was a very artsy little kid and my parents saw that very young uh, and they would always put art supplies in front of me to keep me busy and they could see that I had the talent and so I honestly think that I never thought that I would ever do anything in my life than be an artist. I mean, it just was my focus all the way up through all my schooling. And I decided to also major in art. Uh, as early as my freshman year in high school, I knew that I wanted to uh, get my bachelor's degree in art. So I just feel like it was born into me, honestly. Um, it was never a decision I consciously made. Just I had the talent and I just wanted to keep doing it, so. So when I was a really young girl, I love horses so much. And uh, I was always inspired by horses and they were pretty much the only animal I ever drew or painted. I mean, I was really like a singular obsession. And I had an uncle who was an incredibly talented artist and uh, he would always come visit the family and he would sit down with me at the table and um, I would watch him work and he would help me with my art. And he did say to me one time, he said, you can't be a horse artist your whole life or just only do horses. He said, you should learn how to do other animals as well. So that was, uh, and so for a person inspiring me, my uncle really inspired me that way. And then my inspiration really just comes from being out in nature, uh, being around animals. Uh, I have such a love of animals and, um, and that's really where I find it is I feel like I have almost a, a supernatural connection maybe to animals. I don't know how to explain it. I just feel like we are symbiotic and um, uh, and they just inspire me just existing. You know, they're, they just bring so much joy into our world. And those horses are not my typical colorful ones back there. Those are actually, that's actually a, a mural that's behind me that's tacked up in my studio right now. Uh, but I, I kind of thought it would be fun to have them behind me because you can see that I, I can do actually regular colors too, but that the client requested uh, regular colors <laughs> for the horses. So, uh, but yes, that you can see my, I started with horses and they are definitely one of my specialties for sure, so. kind of go back and forth. I think it really depends on, you know, I've, I've had some customers, you know, ask me to paint the, the normal colors like of their dog. Uh, and I do that, but the the bright colors are, they, they, they affect your emotions in a way that's very positive and joyful. Yeah. And that's why I like painting those bright colors. Oh gosh, it means it means everything to me, really. It it is my it, it's my life, um, and you know, aside from my loving my one my wonderful husband and our wonderful kids and our pets and everything, my art really is is just everything to me. And if I couldn't be an artist, like if something happened, I think it would just be the worst thing in the world, <laughs> you know, to not be able to to do what I do for a living. Um, and I think uh, the other thing that that makes the art so joyful to me to be able to do this and this just comes from people commissioning me for example to paint their dog or paint their cat um, in my colorful uh, way is that many people have lost a, a precious dog or a precious cat or even a horse and they want to have a portrait done and so when I do those kind of portraits and the people who have commissioned me come to me and say this this is so wonderful and they're almost like emotionally like almost crying they make me cry <laughs> and then it makes me feel like you know if we all feel like we want to have a purpose on this planet and sometimes i feel like by being the artist that i am that I, that's my purpose is to is to do that for people so it's it's my way of, of giving back and it and it comes back to me tenfold and it, and just fills my heart it really does it sounds i've done some very special uh commissions over the years, uh, very special animals uh, over the years, people's uh, uh, pets. Um, wow. Uh, well, I, I honestly think that one, the one that's behind me right now that I'm doing for a very special organization called the Cloud Foundation, uh, they're a wild horse advocacy group. And I think the kind of work that they do to help save America's wild horses, you know, this 
this mural means so much to me to be able to do this and uh, to put these, these are real wild horses that are behind me that are on a ranch uh, here in Colorado. And, you know, and, and I think, you know, for me, valuable is not really, it's not the money, you know, it's not what the painting costs. You know, some people think, oh, that's valuable. So, you know, it's a $50,000 painting or, you know, that's how people put value on things. But to me, the value is really in uh, the meaning behind it and why it was created and who it was created for. So that's, that's where I put the value in. Okay, so like when I, I don't get them too terribly often because I've been a professional artist for a very long time. And when you're working every single day in your studio, uh, you know, you just get in this rhythm. But occasionally you do get creative blocks. And so what I try to do when I get those is sometimes I just do uh, mindless work in the studio, like maybe um, stretching canvases and then putting gesso on them or, you know, just doing prep work. Sometimes just the act of, of doing that can kind of help propel you when you're in a block. The other thing I'll do when I'm in a creative block too is um, I love to go to other art galleries, you know, get some inspiration just by seeing other art artists and their work. And of course for me, since everything is always about animals, you know, going to the zoo, uh, seeing the, the, the animals at our, our Cheyenne Mountain Zoo here is wonderful too, as well as maybe wildlife uh, refuges uh, and also national parks and just being able to get out on those on those drives, you know, get outside, get some fresh air, go for a hike, uh, can also clear the mind a little bit too. Oh wow! Okay, well, you know, uh, sometimes the I, I will paint a painting and um, I'll finish it, for example, and I'll say, "Bingo! I <laughs> got that one." great and that makes you feel like a, such a sense of accomplishment and then other times you paint and it's it may not be going well uh you know that happens with all of us artists professional or otherwise you know you, you'll be painting and you'll think oh that's not looking so great um i would say most of the time the experience i have when i'm painting or the feeling i have is that um i'm always doing what i was what i was meant to do you know so that makes me feel good uh, and I and I see challenges. Uh, you know, when I started to paint these colorful animals, I, I, they're, they're so multi-layered, and there's like a 15 color palette on my 15 colors on my palette when I paint these things. And it's a it's kind of a, an interesting puzzle-like uh, layering process that I do on, on all my originals. And so, uh, just painting those and watching those colors sort of build up on the canvas, and, and they're kind of going on top and interlocking and doing the things that they do. It, it helps me feel very accomplished that I developed something that's very unique and different looking and it's definitely, I, I've got my thumbprint all over it. It's, you know, I think a Tracy Miller is very recognizable from uh, other colorful artists because there's, there's quite a few of us out there, of course. And um, I feel like I'm fulfilling my purpose. You know, it really, mm -hmm. it really feels that way. I'm, I'm, I think we should all have, have a purpose-driven life, I guess, and, and painting and the, the whole execution of it is like that for me. I think that's like, Well, you know, I'll, I'll put this little, this cute little panda, because we're going to put him. <laughs> so just have to show him off because he's so cute. Um, so I would say, you know, sometimes um, following uh, exact, like, numbers, uh, I would say, you know, definitely buy more than one kit if you can because when you if you do the the layering and and I did paint by number kits as a kid it was so much fun that's why this was just really fun to get contacted by you and to be doing this um, is maybe do your own sense of exploration and your own sense of experimentation because I think that's where uh, coloring uh, well what's the term what do they say uh, live life outside the lines or color outside the lines but you know, sometimes in doing a paint by number kit, it, it is so much fun. I remember doing them as a kid. I can't tell you how much fun they, they what great memories doing those things are. And um, also I think, you know, it, it works your brain in a different way. You know, most of us artists, we tend to be very right brain. Some of us are left-handed like me, it looks like my right hand there, but I'm a right brain, left-handed person. And so when you can access the right side of your brain and utilize that um, and just be creative. It will help you in so many other areas of your life. If you're a very mathematical person, you know, just accessing that creativity is, is going to really be great.